What's up? I'm Triple Sheet. In a super quick guide, I'll show you how to uninstall a distribution from WSL. It's easy to get a bunch of these things set up. And of course, if you happen to take one past the point of bringing it back from breaking it, or you just generally want to uninstall it to save disk space or anything else, it's simple enough to do. But there's two separate steps that you need to follow to do this properly. First of all, we need to uninstall the actual distribution. Hit start and type in settings, where we'll open up our usual settings window. Inside of here, head across to apps and under install apps, you can find your Ubuntu or Debian or whatever it is distribution here. So I'll search for Ubuntu and you can see it here. Ubuntu preview taking up two gigs. Click the three dots next to it and choose uninstall. Then uninstall. At this point, when it's done, it should be done. And while you may think that, it may stay back in a few ways. In order to completely get rid of this once it vanishes from this menu, as such, open up a new terminal and inside of PowerShell or command prompt type WSL-L-V as such, and it'll tell you your installed versions of WSL. In my case, apparently Ubuntu Preview is still running and still installed. So even though we uninstalled the shortcuts to it, it's still technically here. In order to get rid of it completely, run WSL two hyphens and register, followed by the name of the distribution. We can just drag around it to select it and right click to copy, then right click to paste, enter and boom, there we go. It's unregistered and the files should have now been deleted. That's it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.